doing little things like changing your usernames to make sure that they're all the same and uh, can populate kind of just the same username across platforms is a change that I've made just upping my professional appearance with professional headshots and then just being super active and, and thoughtful with the posts. I think there's a, a fine line and balance and I don't think anyone does it quite perfect, but trying to put out content that's educational and promotes your business but also things that promotes your personality and gets people to like you and trust you and you really seem like an actual human being. And that's difficult to do, uh, but, but definitely possible. I think I saw uh, a rule of thumb that was like 70% of your content should be kind of personal related, whether it's what you're doing, hobbies, interests, et cetera. And then 30% should be business focused. So if you're just looking for a good rule of thumb, um, but then just, there's some really cool different marketing strategies that you can utilize with online marketing on Instagram, Facebook, with YouTube, Google AdWords to get yourself everywhere. Um, you can create your own video ads on YouTube that are targeted to a specific region. So if you're looking to buy houses somewhere, they're really not too expensive. And typically Google and YouTube ads are going to be a little higher quality than Facebook and Instagram because it takes more effort to search for that kind of content than just to have something pop up on your timeline, right? Um, so that, that's one strategy people could utilize to grow their business. But as far as building a personal brand, I think it's just think about what unique skills you have, your business, and then just being comfortable and vulnerable is sharing that with people. I, I love what you do with the podcast because it really does bring out your personal brand and who you are and your personality. It mixes everything from MMA to real estate and just mindset. And it's a great brand and it makes people like you a lot. And thanks, man. As a business owner and just individual, we don't need massive 50,000 email lists of people we don't know. We really just need. 500 people, 250 people that like us, that trust us and are willing to do business with us on a repeat basis. And the Instagram, Facebook, social media today is like the digital business card. And you really have to think about it that way.